Hey guys, my name is Lawrence and I am the Director of Community Engagement for the Canadian Organization for Undergraduate Health Research, or CORE for short. We are a nonprofit organization that helps students and communities through research opportunities and community engagement. Welcome to the first video of the CORE Health series. In this episode, we will be discussing the topic of marijuana, starting with a quick background and then diving into some more details. Let's begin. Marijuana, also known as cannabis, weed, pot, or kush, comes from a flowering plant. In its drug form, it is seen as dry leaves, flowers, stems, and seeds. The ingredient inside the marijuana drug is called Delta-9 tetrahydrocannabinol, or just THC for short. In marijuana, THC is what causes impaired brain function and psychotic effects. This may include altered sight, altered sense of time, mood changes, and challenges with thinking and problem solving. In Canada, marijuana was legalized for recreational use on October 17, 2018. In order to use marijuana, you must be an adult, 18 or 19 years or older, depending on the province. In public, adults can only carry up to 30 grams of dry marijuana. If adults decide they want to grow marijuana in their homes, they are only allowed to grow up to four plants in each household, not per person. However, homegrown plants are only meant for personal use and not for selling. In Canada, weed must be legally bought through private licensed stores or through provincially regulated websites. Other than that, it's okay for adults to share weed, but it is illegal to sell marijuana without a license. Additionally, adults are not allowed to give marijuana to minors. To understand just how important marijuana is, here are some statistics. In Canada, marijuana is the most commonly used drug after caffeine. Additionally, before marijuana consumption was legalized in 2018, one in seven Canadians reported that they have used marijuana before. On top of that, one in five marijuana users have reported using other illegal drugs. Due to popularity with marijuana, there are concerns around it as a possible gateway drug. Some research suggests that the use of marijuana can allow individuals to expand the variety of drug substances they use in the future. There are many misconceptions about marijuana. For example, people may say marijuana is harmless and it doesn't do anything bad to you, but that is false. Marijuana can have harmful effects on your body. Another myth is how people think marijuana is not addictive, but it actually can be addictive. Another piece of false information is the misconception of how marijuana is just a plant, so it should be all natural and safe. But again, this is not necessarily true. I will explain these myths later on, but remember that marijuana can be harmful, it can be addictive, and it's not just a safe and natural plant. It is important to know how marijuana works in your body in a scientific way. After marijuana enters the body through smoking it or ingesting it, marijuana ends up in the bloodstream and specifically the THC from marijuana ends up in the bloodstream. From there, THC travels from the blood to the brain. Inside the brain, there are cells called neurons which are responsible for helping the brain function. THC affects these neurons in the brain thus affecting brain function. This happens as THC blocks the communication between neurons. Although it differs from person to person, THC's action on a specific part of the brain may cause euphoria, relaxation, amusement, or increased responsiveness to their senses. However, marijuana may lead to unpleasant or negative feelings including slow reaction times, panic, forgetfulness, anxiety, and bad judgment. There are more negative effects from marijuana. I already talked about how marijuana impairs brain function, but there are other side effects too. For example, frequent marijuana use can cause airway troubles, which can lead to coughing or wheezing. Related to issues with airways, frequent marijuana use is associated with increased mucus production in the throat and symptoms of bronchitis. Additionally, the use of marijuana can lead to increased likelihood of strokes, increased blood pressure, 
and increased risk of coronary events or damage to heart muscle. These negative effects show how marijuana can have negative effects on your body. Simultaneously, it shows how just because the plant is all natural does not mean it is safe. In youth, there are risks and issues when using marijuana. For example, adolescents who begin using marijuana at an early age are more likely than adults to become addicted. Also, youth who use marijuana during their developmental periods are more vulnerable to negative effects compared to adults. If the use of marijuana is frequent, these negative effects on a growing brain can decrease IQ when going into adulthood, which can result in learning difficulties. Regarding dependency, 9% of marijuana users get addicted. If users start using marijuana in their teenage years, the chance of addiction increases to 17%. Additionally, people who use marijuana daily have a 25-50% to 50 chance of getting addicted. Not all marijuana is considered bad. Did you guys know that marijuana has medical uses? In Canada, medicinal use of marijuana was legalized on July 30th, 2001. Medicinal marijuana can be used to relieve symptoms of pain, cancer, glaucoma, HIV or AIDS, multiple sclerosis, and PTSD. Overall, evidence suggests that marijuana is moderately effective for things like treating pain. However, the efficacy of medicinal marijuana for other health issues is not well established due to limited clinical evidence. Want more information? We'll put these resources below. Thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed this episode and we'll see you again in the next Core Health Series video.